I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to enter timesheets into your Z Timesheet app. So when you open the app, you'll see this summary page which shows you what activities you have are currently timing and those that you've already completed. So let's add a new entry to this table. So we're going to tap on the plus button. We'll select the customer job or customer that we're working. If it's not in this list, we can very easily add it. We'll then select a service item or the type of work that you're doing. Whether the time activity is going to be billable or non-billable. And then we have the choice of using a timer or selecting the start and end times for that activity. So we're going to choose a start time. And then pick the end time. And it will calculate the duration for you. Finally, we'll enter some notes for the work that we were doing. And tap on done. You can now see the new time entry has been added into the table. Just to see how much work we've done, we can tap on the time entry at the bar at the bottom, we'll click on the stopwatch, and it'll show you the total duration of the activities that we've completed so far. If you're running items on the timer, click on that button, you can actually see the elapsed time displayed in the screen here, as well as the work, the client that we're working for, and the type of work that we're doing. We have the option to save, and to pause those time entries if we need to. So let's say we've now finished this particular activity, we'll save and record that activity. And you can see here the entries being put in. You also now have the ability to modify or edit these time entries. By clicking on the edit button, we can go through, we can change any of the details that we like. And done. So that's just how easy it is to enter time into the Z Timesheets app.